Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Allegiant. So, Allegiant stars Shane Lee Woodley, Theo James, uh, Miles Teller, Ansel Elgort, and uh, Jeff Daniels. And what this film is about? It's about when you know uh, the, uh, the, the Trish, sorry, and four. They have to go beyond the wall, you know, they have to go beyond the wall that encircles Chicago, and they want to try and see what else is out there, what is the world like now, and they discover something that is much more than they expected. So, what did I think of Allegiant? You know what, I had faith in this franchise at first, you know what I mean? I really enjoyed the first movie. I thought the first movie was really good, had some really exciting moments, it was a really good movie. Then the sequel happened. The sequel, although I didn't hate it, it was okay. You know, it, it was fine, it was just okay. But this movie, this movie's garbage! It's awful, this movie! It's a terrible film. And it makes me think, why did I even have any fate in this franchise at first? It, it's a really terrible film, so yeah. So let's get into my positives, and my positives are, because I do have positives with the film, and the positives are, some of the acting, some of the acting is pretty good, I think the act, some of the acting is pretty good with the film, like Shane Lee Woodley, you know, I liked her in these movies, you know, I like her in all these movies, she does a great job, honestly, in all of these films, she's arguably the best thing about all of these movies, you know, I really enjoyed her in the film, she did a really great job, you know, uh, by far the best thing about the film, in my opinion. You know, Theo James, you know, I'm mixed about him. I, I'm like, there's some moments where I think he's really good, and there's some moments where I think he's uh, he's pretty bland. It, it goes back and forth with me with him. So, you know, there were moments in this film where I thought he did a really good job. He was really good in the film. And then there's some moments where I thought he was just not that great at times and very bland. So, yeah. Uh, Jeff Daniels, I thought Jeff Daniels was great. You know, my boy, Jeff Daniels, he was great. I thought he did a really great job in the film. You know, I enjoyed Jeff Daniels in the film. Uh, so, yeah, some of the acting's really good in the film. There's some cool action scenes. I thought it had some really cool action scenes, you know, in the film. Some some cool ones, like, especially towards the beginning. I thought it had some really cool action scenes, so, yeah. But those are my only positives with the film. My negatives are... The, the rest of the acting, the rest of the acting is pretty terrible, like, it's awful. Miles Teller, he's just, he's just a jerk face throughout the entire film, that's all, that's all he's there for, is just to be a jerk face. I don't know even why he's in these movies, he hates being in these movies, so, why is he even in them? I don't know. Man, it, it, was he just like, after Whiplash, was he, was he just like, I'm gonna just star in all these terrible movies, my career means nothing. Yeah, Miles Teller, he's pretty bad. He just plays a jerk face throughout the entire film. Uh, was it Ansel Elgort? He's still, he's still a whiny baby. He's just, you know, he's just there. Like, he's whiny all the time. Like, why can't we do this or that? Why are you doing this? And it's just annoying. Like, he's, it was more annoying in the second movie, but he's still pretty annoying here. And I just couldn't stand him in the film. Naomi Watts and Octavia Spencer, what are you doing in these movies? Like, you're wasting your time. They're just there for the paycheck. They really are. They're just, they're just there for the paycheck. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So, yeah. Um, some of the action, some of the actions are very poorly filmed. Like, there's this one scene where they're in some sort of um, aircraft thing. Like, some sort of air carrier. And... Oh my gosh, the way this scene was filmed was so poorly edited that it was almost Taken 3 style. It's that bad, that action scene. And there were some moments where it was very quick cutty and just not around really well filmed, so yeah. And they do, okay, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just going to say this. They do something with a certain character in this movie that it was just so forced and so thrown in that I was just like, why? Just... Why did that happen, you know? It was so forced, just so thrown in there. I didn't really like it. So, yeah. The writing, the writing's pretty terrible with the film. There's some really awful writing. Like, some really terrible writing with the film. The directing, the directing is really, really bad with this movie. It's directed by the same guy that made R.I.P.D. It is sad. 
when I think R.I.P.D. is better than both of these Divergent films. It's really sad, you know. And it, the directing is just awful with the movie. I, I couldn't stand the directing. The visuals, oh my goodness, the visuals. These are almost on par with Gods of Egypt for how bad these visuals are. They look like PlayStation 1. <laughs> like PlayStation 1 graphics. That's how bad these visuals are. They're really terrible. These visuals are awful. Holy moly. The pacing, the pacing is awful as well. I was bored throughout mostly the entire film. You know, it was just really boring, this movie. Nothing really too too interesting happened in this film. So, yeah. Overall, guys, Allegiant is a terrible film. It is awful. It's one of the worst films of the year. And nothing too exciting. It's just that this franchise, this needs to stop. And we're getting one more next year. Thank God it's ending. So, yeah. So, it's time for my official grade on Allegiant. And my official grade on Allegiant is a D. It's a terrible film. It's really bad. I, I couldn't stand most of this film. It's an awful movie. So, it's getting a D. So, what do you guys think of Allegiant? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599. And we'll see you out later. Peace.